village, the, the traditional owners, uh, and then Henry Formile, they did a uh, really nice uh, welcome to country for us this evening. Um, and also, secondly, I'd like to really acknowledge those loved ones of ours uh, that can't be here today, um, those that we've all gathered here for. Uh, to you know, not only raise awareness uh, for this really important issue, but also, you know, also to remember those um, affected by um, suicide. And um, I've just been invited here today uh, to share a little bit about my own story. I actually, a couple of months ago, um, shared a little bit of my story on the same stage on the other side of the lagoon uh, for St Vincent's. Um, and it was a CEO homeless sleep out. And I was talking about how I had been here before, uh, about four or five years ago, uh, sleeping on the Esplanade. Um, I was having a really, really rough time. Um, you know, I was going through a divorce, um, lost a lot of friends, family. Uh, you know, was really, really struggling with depression and some of those hurdles in my life. So it was really, really an honour to be able to uh, be able to speak today and share my story. Um, I'm also very cautious. I won't be triggering um, to some people, and um, so I've just tried to keep it you know, really PG. Um, really, I don't want to upset anyone. But if anyone is experiencing any, um, you know, trouble here today, there's a lovely ladies from Lifeline in the shirts and. Um, Go up and say hello. I've met a couple of them here today, but we've also got Tess and Christy. So they do a lot of amazing work, Lifeline, um, and I'm very, very thankful to be here to talk today. Um, so the last couple of weeks I've been really, really thinking about what kind of message uh, I want to send to people um, here tonight. Um, and something that's that's useful, I, I think, um, you know, when you're in that dark place and, and, and you know, times are tough and you're really struggling, it's really, really hard and you'll get a lot of people that, uh, you know, approach you and, you know, they mean well, but, um, you know, there's a lot of people that will say, you know, I, I know what you're going through. Um, people may share the same feelings, uh, sadness, hurt, loss, uh, feeling alone, vulnerable. So people might understand how we feel uh, without necessarily understanding where we are, where we've been and what we're going through. Um, everyone has a unique story, a unique journey, and I, I think it's um, really important that we appreciate that. Um, everybody is different, and there's nothing wrong with being different. Um, we all have different, different stories to tell and, and live our lives very differently. So I just wanted to be very, very cautious and very, very mindful of that. Especially for people that are, you know, feeling quite vulnerable right now. Um, you know, it's important just to know that there are a lot of people that are all gathered here today um, to, to raise awareness. We're all here ready to support you um, if you're having a tough time. Um, and I think that's really important as well. You know, these, these feelings, um, suicide, depression, anxiety, they don't discriminate. Um, they know no race, nationality, um, doesn't matter where you live, where you were born, how much money you've got in your bank account. Um, these types of things affect everybody and you know that's another re great reason why we're all here together. We've all come from different backgrounds here today, uh, again different stories, uh, we've lived different lives, we have different lessons and um, it's really important that sadly this is an issue that has brought us all together but I think it's also really, really nice that we have, you know, come together on this day to, um, I know I've got, a, I've got a ribbon on for a loved one that, that I lost, um, you know, so it's not only just about my own personal story today or those of others, but, you know, those that, um, those that we wish could be here that, that are, you know, so we're here for those people and I just wanted to acknowledge them. Um, so I thought a lot about what I could say that you know, might help people, and it, it's a really difficult, it's a really difficult thing to say. You know, I think sharing my story does give people hope, and that's great. But I really wanted today to share with people um, something that they could take away, put in their toolbox, and they could use if they're doing it hard. So for me, um, some of you may know, some of you may not. I do an incredible amount of volunteer work, uh, community work in the community, uh, with all sorts of organisations doing all sorts of things 
it, it's that helping others that has really allowed me to help myself. Um, again, just a few years ago, I was doing it quite hard. And um, when you're helping others, you know, especially volunteering or doing something like that, you're never going to have somebody look down on you. You're never going to have someone come and tell you that you're not good enough um, or that you're worthless. In fact, it's quite the opposite. Um, my experience, you know, you've got a lot of people that will give you a pat on the back and say, hey, that was really great. We appreciate it. You know, your time and effort today and it's really great. You're doing all this great stuff. And that really just boosts your, your self-esteem um, and your own self-worth. So for me, as someone that struggled with low self-esteem and, you know, um, going through the struggles that I went through, what was helpful for me was helping others. Um, so I really wanted to express that to everyone here today um, because I think that's a really good tool. It's something that I've used. Um, it's also a good distraction. You know, we often get caught up in, um, you know, day to day, the stresses of life and, um, you know, thinking about our own personal situation. And, you know, sometimes it helps to just lend a hand or an ear or a shoulder, um, you know, to loved ones, family, friends, even people that you don't know. Um, it's just incredibly rewarding um, and I really, really wanted to really share that with people today because that's something that's really, really helped me um, on my journey. Um, and again, um, I'd like to thank Lifeline for inviting me here today to share you know, my own story. Um, if anyone you know, wants to, uh, need, needs a help or needs an ear, needs a shoulder, um, you, know, you can find me afterwards. Um, but again, you've got Tess and uh, Christy up the back there and they do great work. Um, you know, go and have a chat, um, you know, or pick up the phone. Um, it's as easy as that. So I wish everybody the best um, and thank you for having me.